excellent play by Matt Chapman. Watch this kid at third base. You're going to like him. Lunging to the backhand side, feels the ball. He makes a run and catch that tumbles into the dugout. Wow, Matt Chapman can really pick it at third base. Let's find out how he gets it done. Matt, take us through your routine when you come out here getting ready for a game on a daily basis. Shift is on, and he swings and squirts one on the right side. Nice diving play to his right by Chapman. Cross the diamond in time. A lot of people don't feel ready without their routines, and defensively, I think that my routine is something that uh, I definitely take pride in. Uh, so usually I start off with just, you know, really focusing on my hands the beginning, at the beginning, just on your knees, whether the, you're on the side or taking it from the coach head on. Just working forehand, backhand from your knees, really just working on seeing the ball into your glove and taking the legs out of it and just trying to simplify it, make it as easy as possible, kind of just a warm up as well. This is what it looks like to field a ground ball. So here, boom, and just really stay in my legs when I'm coming across. I think that when people make a lot of throwing errors is when they come up and their throws tend to sail. So I really have to focus on staying in my leg and keeping my momentum going towards first. 2-0. And that's grounded left side. Sliding stop going to his left by the third baseman. Chapman gets up and throws out Bregman. Nice job by Matt Chapman. Well regarded defensively at third. What about the backhand? Here. And on the backhand, I like to kind of have my foot as like the timing mechanism on that backhand to help myself for mine to stay through it. So on a backhand, it would be boom. boom. Come across the first. One of the things I just noticed, you just buried your head where the ball was. So the ball's here and you just, your, your head was right down on it. Is that one of the things you focus on? For sure. I think that any any time that you're trying to make a play, especially one-handed, the closer you can get your face to the action and stay in there, you're gonna be able to give yourself the best chance you can. Pitch in, swung on, bounce, back a third, fair. Chapman's got it, long throw on the money, and a dazzling play by Matt Chapman. A lot of it comes natural. I feel like defense for me is the most natural. It feels. I feel a lot more comfortable out here than I do in the box. Not to say I don't feel comfortable there, but just out here, everything seems natural. It seems reactionary. It's like, yeah, I don't really have to think about it. I love it. Uh, do you ever work on diving plays? I do, but um, I, I try to uh, limit a lot of the diving plays because I feel like I dive after everything in the games. That, that one's kind of just go for it. The one strike pitch on the ground sharply. Diving stop behind the bag of third. Chapman a second one on the first two. Double play. Last thing, one piece of advice that you would give to a young infielder at home. Is don't don't take, you know, all the little things and fundamentals for granted for sure. It's, it might get boring, but it's a lot of the stuff that, you know, we still work on every day. I think that being in a good ready position, you know, working with two hands to the baseball and seeing that ball into your glove, you know, all those things are not to be taken lightly and just have fun. Go for it.